Congressman, thanks for being back here on the Hill. Appreciate your time as always, sir. What would you say to Chip Roy? Well, he, he is correct. It's both parties, actually. It's the uniparty. I don't, and, and hello to my buddy, Max. Haven't seen you in a while, Max. Good seeing you, brother. <laughs> it's good to see you, brother. Hey, um, but I, I'll tell you this. It's both parties. They've sold us out. The National Chambers of Commerce have done everything they can within their will to stop this. Um, in both parties, it's the uniparty. It's not the people like me and Max that, you know, I'm the 435th most powerful member of Congress. These chambers of commerce block national chambers, not your local. But, you know, they want somebody on your roof that if they fall off, they're not going to get, you know, they're going to be able to sue you because they're afraid they'll be deported. They do this every time. It's the uniparty. They cut these deals. And it's all about money. It's not about me, it's not about. America, it's about somebody making a dollar, and that's what it's all about. You can let me you can ask say you. Six, you can say majority or minority, but that's what it's all about. And I don't, and I, me, you know, I've, I've seen argument too many times since I've right. been there. Let me ask you about a couple things going on, uh, Congressman Hunter Biden. You're a, you're a member of the Oversight Committee. Hunter Biden today pushing back on the prospect of testifying publicly in a, in a week's time. He gave the closed door deposition. What would you say to Hunter Biden and his attorney who say they're not showing up publicly on that date or at all? Probably politically, it's it's uh, not a good move, but legally it's a good move because he doesn't want to get on there with Tony Bobulinski, who made a he's got a great name, by the way. That's a really cool name. But um, he, he doesn't want to get on there with him because this guy can name dates, times, places, amounts of money, who was in the room, who was on the phone and just down to minute details. And all these other people can do just the same. He doesn't want to have to sit up there and have to defend that without his attorney in his ear. So I would say legally it's a, it's a good move. Politically, it's not a good move on the front end because obviously rules for thee, not for me. And, um, and you know, he's he's shirking the, the committee, and that's that'll remain to be seen. I think they're running out the clock, though, because I'm like most America, and I'm guilty of this, too. I want my pizzas in about 30 minutes or less, and that's about my dadgum attention span. We're going to move on to another time pretty soon, and America probably already has. All right, let me ask you about another topic. Uh, you are on the UAP front. Obviously, there's a push now to get a, a committee formed about this. We had your, your colleague, uh, Congressman Eric Burleson, on the show the other day, and he said this. Watch. They weren't transparent to us in a, in a skiff setting, so they, they could have brought forward evidence. They could have explained what these what these special access programs actually do, but they but they are not willing to do that with Congress. He argued essentially that the Pentagon uh, has not been forthright with its report that it released last week that essentially said nothing to see here on UAPs. Congressman, do you feel that the Pentagon is lying? Yeah, they're lying. They um, look since 1947. They've told us these things don't exist, and yet they spend tens of millions of dollars on these things on studying something. Yet they won't release the reports. They're redacted. They look like somebody shot them with a 12 gauge shotgun. Look, I'm, I'm and there's there's the the famous um, uh, Tic Tac videos that were filmed by by some very brave pilots, American pilots, uh, military pilots. Then they say that that does not exist. Look, I'm not about, I don't, you know, I don't care about the flying saucers, the little green men. I've got my own opinion about that. I just want transparency. Why are we spending tens of millions of dollars on these things? And why do we trust a Pentagon that has failed every audit, that has um, it's lost over a half a trillion dollars in assets, allegedly? And then how do we punish them this last NDAA, a, a bipartisan bill? We gave them $20 billion new dollars. They're an arrogant bunch. They lie. It's about money. It's about power. It's all the things that run Washington. And, and we know it. Over half the American public, public believes there's something else out there. And honestly, do you think we're the best that God can do? And if UFOs were to come, I guarantee they wouldn't come to Washington, D.C., because there is obviously no intelligent life down there. <laughs> Congressman, we'll leave it there. Congressman Tim Burchett. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the time. We'll talk to you soon. Wow. Uh,